right, this is my first time live on this account. Let me see if I'm live. I was, guys, I just made a live and I was talking to myself. I was talking to myself for like five minutes. I thought I was live, man. So bear with me for one second. I gotta make sure I'm live. Um, there's like a little lag, so I guess I gotta wait a little bit. Or There you go. Okay, I think I'm alive now. Not live yet. Am I live, guys? Can you guys see me? Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? Okay, I see you guys in the comments. All right, cool. I think it's good now. All right, perfect, perfect. Perfecto. Okay. Uh, also... I don't know if it, if it showed on the first clip, but nothing I say in this video is financial advice. Uh, invest at your own risk, at your own cost. It's crypto, so it's very volatile. Um, I was looking for a disclaimer to put in my description, so I got to make that very clear, guys. Nothing I say is financial advice. Um, do your own research on everything that I'm about to say, on any coin recommendation and uh, all that. So... I told you guys this channel was a crypto channel, so if you don't want to see that, you could, you know, check out the other channels that I got. You guys know what those are. But so let's talk about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is down on the month 7%. Bitcoin was down uh, big time this month. Or actually, sorry, this month. It was actually down big time this last yeah, yesterday because I guess today is a new day. It's one in the morning now. But let's let's go to the chart. So I don't like, I don't like the one day. Here, let me see if I can change it. I'm on a new, I'm on my laptop. I'm my, oh, there you go. At my house, I have everything already set up. So everything will, it's all new to me here. So I really don't like how it looks like, like this, but whatever. All right. So anyways, let's go to, I'm gonna look at the comments in a bit, guys. Give me one second. So today, Bitcoin was about almost 71,000, damn near. And it dropped literally within like, cause that's how crypto or crypto is like within two hours to drop 6%. Uh, which isn't that bad. I mean, there's been there's been days where it's way worse. But what really went down was alts. Altcoins went down like crazy. Um, let me let me look at this chat real quick. This chat just disappeared on me. Where'd it go? Oh, there you go. Uh, so it says, "Yo, Mark, you do Bitcoin? Uh, what do you mean, Papa Kulo? Or pa, I don't know how to say that name. Uh, what, what do you mean? Do you do Bitcoin? Arrow was a good pick. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about Arrow Arrow in, in a little bit." Yeah, this is a live stream we're watching, uh, Equiptio. This is a live stream. I know nothing, I know nothing about crypto, but cool to catch you live. That's what's up, Currency. That's what's up. Um, my portfolio is bleeding. Oh, yeah, everyone's portfolio is bleeding, man. Um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, man. Every, I, I had to take out some profits uh, yesterday because taxes. That's the reason why crypto is going down, too, guys. It's also put it out there. Tax, the end day is April 15th. Today is... The 13th. So, yeah, crypto is going to be very volatile for the next two days. Even myself, I had to take out some of my profits to pay taxes. And a lot of people were doing it. That's why you're seeing crypto bleeding right now because um, everyone's, you know, taking out the profits, to get the tax benefits, pay off the IRS, blah, 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 blah. So that's why you're seeing a lot of sell-offs today. Uh, but let's talk about Arrow. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's one in the morning, and I'm feeling great. Someone says... Kellen says, all the religious people about to be roasting you for caring about something other than Christ. Yeah, well, I mean, these people are no earthly good, though. You know, as Ringo TV says, they're no earthly good. All It's all religious to them, and all of them are phonies and fakes. Behind the scenes, they be demons, bro. Behind the scenes, they have, you know, behind closed doors, they have no love for the people. It's just overly religious. Someone says, Arrow was the first crypto I ever invested in. Oh, that's good, man. Let, let's get straight to Arrow right now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I just say leave site, whatever. All right, arrow, ooh, 193. So I'm going to show, the chat just disappeared. Okay, there you go. That'd be weird how you're doing that. The chat just disappeared. All right, let me see if I could, uh, oh, okay, wait. I guess that works too. No, no, where'd it go? Can I just exit that? All right. You just close a doctable window if you'd like to show it again. Docs, uh, don't show again. Put a mini bar, okay. All right, so Arrow, 
Guys, I told you guys about Arrow. You guys know it's at 70 cents. Now, I bought Arrow at 50 cents. I bought Arrow at 50 cents. I put about half of my portfolio in Arrow at 50 cents. And then once I started to rise up and I was like, okay, like this is this is it. Then I went all in even more around like, like around the time when I made that video at 70 cents. It's at $2 now, guys, which means that if you would have put in, for those who don't know how how it works, so let's say if you would have put in like a thousand dollars at when Arrow was seventy cents, right now you'd probably be at like around twenty eight hundred, almost a three x. And I feel like this is super early, so check this out. This is why this this coin is going to be super good. So, so everything crashed today in crypto today, right? For those who who know what's up, like I don't know why it's looking like this. Um. If I had my computer, everything's already set up. I don't I don't like how this looks like, man. Let me see if I could uh change it. Nah, it doesn't matter. Uh does this matter? Uh it doesn't matter either. Hmm. Uh indicators. Nah, it doesn't matter. Area, nah, it doesn't matter. Candles, nah. Alright, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna see what I did that was so different, but I guess we could put on the four hours. That's not showing either. Hmm, interesting. Uh, that's not showing either. What is going on? Um, what about three hours? Okay, so it's not showing, but I, I could show you what happened in Arrow today. If you guys are, if you guys have Arrow, if you guys were in crypto, if you guys pay attention to, or, you know, if you have Arrow, you know what happened. So Arrow went up to two dollars and thirty-seven cents. Here, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so it was at two dollar, and I, I tweeted this too on my Twitter account, my crypto Twitter account. I said that once Arrow breaks past a two dollar resistance, it's gonna pump up. So as you can see, it was two dollars. Sorry, right here, it went down. Like I saw crypto is, so it went down about thirty one percent. But it wouldn't have if, you, if it went down thirty one percent, it wouldn't have mattered if you would have bought at seventy cents, which is right around here. And you still right now would be up 172%, which is a 3x. So um, it went down. It went down to a dollar, a dollar and 135, one a dollar 140. That's when I started buying in heavy. I even bought even more on this dip. I was tweeting people on Twitter, buy the dip, buy the dip, 140. And um, you know, as you can see, it was accumulated for about like a week. Yeah, about like a week, and then boom, pumped up to about pumped up. 45%, yeah, 44%. And then, um, you know, that $2 resistance was stubborn. So every time it tested $2, it went down. And then it just it finally pumped up past the $2. And then it, it went up to it went up to $2.37. And, you know, the reason why there's some sell-offs going on, guys, for those who have Arrow, I'll tell you why. Because as you can see, Arrow, the coin just came out last month. The coin started at eight cents. Okay, it went eight cents all the way. Let's just put it at the top. The top it was about one thirty-seven. It was right, right here. It went up to almost twenty-eight hundred percent. So a lot of people who bought in early. That's why I tell you guys all the time in crypto, it pays to get in early. Okay, so for those who bought in early, bro, they have they. That's a twenty x. You know, if my math is correct, about twenty one, twenty two x. So people who put in ten thousand dollars in, guys, at at the bottom. That's that's about millions. That's two, that's two million dollars. Okay, so those people who they cashed out, and it's actually good that they're cashing out early. So the, that means there's going to be less sell pressure going into the future. And for those who who, who like I guess for those who have the coin, if you guys know, Arrow was at two thirty seven two days ago, like damn near like 24, 7, 20, 24 hours ago. Okay, and then it dropped down because crypt everything was dropping today. It dropped down to 150 cents, like right here. It dropped down 37%. And so I'm like, you know, and guys, looking at my portfolio, you guys already know how it is, man. When, you, when your portfolio drops almost half, that's max pain. That hurts. That is, that is, that is so much pain, man. When you, like, it's crazy. This is why I got to tell you guys, take, it, take profits, man. If you're up a little bit, uh, how I see it, guys, this is my strategy in crypto. Now, you want to come up with your own strategy, 
But personally, my strategy, whenever I'm up 5X on a coin, I take out my initial investment. So let's say, for instance, I put in $1,000 on a coin and it turns to $5,000. I take out my $1,000 back and now I ride it to the moon. So worst comes to worst, if it does crash to zero, if, if like the grid turns off or whatever, at least I got my money back and I could ride those profits to the moon. You know, uh, personally, what, I, my, what I'm going to be doing, like I said, guys, everybody has their own strategy. That's okay. But for me, when Bitcoin is at $100,000, that's when I'm going to start scaling out of the market. And I feel like a lot of people are going to be doing that too. I'm not going to sell everything at 100K because there's going to be so much FOMO. Well, there's going to be so much FOMO when Bitcoin hits 100K. It's going to be insane FOMO. So what I'm going to be doing, once Bitcoin's at like 95K, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cash out 10%. Once it's, once it's at 100K, cash out another 10%. When Bitcoin is at 105K, cash out maybe even 15% because that's when it's very volatile. Now, there, Bitcoin could easily go to 150K. You know, it could easily go higher. But one thing about me and one thing you want to do in crypto, you do not want to be greedy. Okay, because in, my, in 2017, when I was in crypto, I was 24 years old. I had a guy, some dude I met. What, how did I meet this dude? I met this dude on Twitter. This is like 10 years ago I met this guy. This is a long time ago. I somehow had a Snapchat. We didn't talk for years. I had somehow had a Snapchat. And I don't know how he told me, but he's like, hey, you know, you know about crypto. I think I posted on my story. Yeah. I think I put, I remember buying Ethereum when Ethereum was like $150. Now Ethereum's like, I think it's like 3000 4000 or something like that. But anyways, this is back then when everything was cheap. Bitcoin was $2,000. And he told me, he was like, hey, Mark, check out this coin. It's called Tron TRX, which I do not recommend no more. The coin is old. Do not buy TRX. Coin sucks. But back then, it was a new coin. He was like, hey, buy it, buy it, blah, blah. And I did my research on it. Like, oh, you don't want to just buy something because someone's selling you. Even if me, even if I'm telling you to buy something, or not financial advice, even if I'm, if I'm recommending a coin, do your research on it and see if you want to invest in it. Look at the project, look at the founders, look at the investors, look at the white, the white uh, paper, the white sheet, whatever they call it. Do your research on it. Watch other YouTube videos. Are there big names chilling it, et cetera, et cetera. So we somehow talked and he was like, hey, Mark, check out this coin called Tron. It's TRX. And at the time, Tron was at five cents. It was like five, I think it was like, yeah, it was like five cents, somewhere in that. And I put in $20,000. That's, that's all the money I had, guys. I had such strong conviction on this. This is when the bull run was happening. And I didn't really know much about crypto at the time. Crypto was very new to most, to about 95% of the people. It was very new to us. It was like, it was like finding, it was like, it was like buying real estate back in the 70s, the 80s. Literally, guys, if you would have bought Ethereum and Bitcoin back in 2017, you would have hold on to it now. That's like pretty much buying real estate. That's like buying a house in New York City back in the 60s and the 70s. Like real talk, bro. Maybe not in New York, but you guys see what I'm, maybe you guys see what I'm trying to say. Maybe it actually depends if you bought if you bought a whole bunch of Bitcoin, you know. But anyways, so I bought. I put twenty thousand at five cents. I put twenty thousand dollars in, and within like a couple, like a week or two, it just starts going up and up and up. And I remember it hit a hundred k. So I five x. Okay. And, you know, when you're new to crypto, when you're a noob, greed kicks in. I got greedy and I thought, okay, it's 100K. Now, I, I was thinking, you know, let, let it go to 200K. Now, 100K was more than I ever expected. So if I would have cashed out that 100K, I would have been happy. I would have been content. Like I said, I was 24 years old, no kids. Uh, did I have a girlfriend at the time? Um, I was in and out of a relationship at the time, I think. Yeah, so I had at the time, I think I was single. I had no no girlfriend, no kids, nothing like that. 100K at 24 years old, like that's more than enough. So I was happy, I was content, and I didn't cash out. I remember I was I, I was in Italy with my mom. I'll never forget this day. And I showed her my portfolio. She's like, oh my gosh, like what was like what the heck is that real? I was like, yeah. She's like, well, you know what is that? And I was telling her everything, and I hit 100K. And guess what, guys? It it kissed 100K for literally like two minutes. And then it started going downhill. And I remember it going, it, it going from 100K to like 95K and then to 90K and then to 85K. And I'm not taking any money out, even though I already 5X. You know, and it's going down and down and down. And literally within like a month later, that 100K is now like 60K. And, you know, now I'm taking out some profits and I'm putting it into other coins, not knowing the bull market already ended. You know, so I'm chasing pretty much coins that already people are already selling that they, they're already up 10x, 20x, and I pretty much lose, I lose 60k in profit by not taking profits and also by buying the wrong coins. So it went from 20k to 100k, 
and I didn't cash out until 40, I think it was like 38K. So I only made like a 2X, which I'm not mad at that. I was, you know, I was still happy about that. But the fact that is that, you know, I pretty much, I, I could have had way more money back then. And my goal back then too, guys, in 2017 was to buy land. That was my, was my goal because houses were out. I live in California, the Bay Area. Houses over here been millions of dollars, you know? So I was like, oh, that's out of the goal. I was like, I'm going to go buy land and build my house. Like outside, like outside the, the cities where it's like a lot more cheaper. But I guess I wasn't God's plan for my life. And I'm actually glad that didn't happen. I'm actually glad I didn't, that I didn't cash out 100K because, you know, who knows? I don't think I was ready for that type of money back in that age. You know, I was still doing, you know, uh, smoking tree, algorithm friendly. I was, I wasn't living, I wasn't living, I was living in pleasure, you know, so I would have wasted that money anyways. I would have bought stupid depreciating assets, you know, when you, you know, when you're young, you're dumb. So that's what I would have done. But, um, that was a lesson learned guys. Whenever, whenever you five X and stocks and crypto, this is my strategy. Always take out your initial investment. So yeah, uh, everyone get in now, escape slavery. Yeah, guys, this is financial freedom. Remember, BlackRock, the biggest institution, uh, financial institution in the entire world, they have Bitcoin. I think they're one of the biggest holders in Bitcoin. I think they're like top three, top five. They're buying Bitcoin, it seems like, every, every other week. Okay, remember, I told you guys all the time, copy what the rich people are doing financially. Okay, keyword, copy what they're doing financially. So let's say if they're buying uh, Bitcoin, you want to be accumulating Bitcoin too. If they're buying all the the real estate, you want to be buying the real estate too. Bill Gates is buying up all the land. You want to buy up all the land too, okay? Um, you know, Bill Gates, they're all these people, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, they're all insiders. Uh, the, the Chase Bank CEO, what's his name? Uh, I forgot what it is. Uh, uh, Morgan? I forgot his name. They're all insiders. They know when to sell before the masses sell because they know something is coming. Um, and, you know, they, they're, they're smart people. I can't even deny it. The people of the other nations are smart. And what are we going to do? Are we going to complain that they're smart? Are we going to complain that they're buying up all the homes? No, like we got to come up with solutions to to so we don't have to rely on them. Like I feel like how could how could we claim that, you know, we're God's chosen people, right? But we're not establishing, you know, we're not building communities. We're not uh, buying land. We're not, you know, uh, helping out those in need with the money that, you know, that God has blessed us with, et cetera, et cetera. Like there's no need for us to as believers, you know, not have anything because the programming, what the religious programming is to keep you poor, you know, to keep you poor, to have you, uh, have you own nothing. And one thing I learned about religious spirits, they're very stubborn and prideful. Some people you just can't help guys, no matter what you do, you just, they just can't be helped. It's because they're a curse, especially black people. I'm especially speaking to black people, black people for the most part, not all of them, but majority of them are cursed. Okay. There's nothing you can do to help them. And it's something that I'm learning little by little, guys. It's so sad. Like, I want to see my brothers and sisters win, but some of these people are under the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28, okay? They don't keep God's commandments, and you know, and all that. So that's what I recommend, guys. Once again, Arrow. Uh, is it, people are going to say, is it too late to buy Arrow? I would wait for a dip. Now, we already had a dip yesterday or a couple hours ago, like literally like 12 hours ago. Uh, we had a dip 12 hours ago and it went to a dollar. I don't know why it's not showing in this chart, man. I don't like that. It kind of, it kind of bothers me. But Arrow wicked down to it wicked down to 150. I want to see how I could somehow change this. The computer at my house I have all this set. I wonder what I'm doing here wrong. Um, I wonder what I'm yeah, what I'm doing here wrong. I don't really know, man. Three minutes. Uh, what did this show? No, it says 160. Nah, it says 160 here, but arrow it went down to 150. I don't know why it says 160, but um, I mean, it guys, it's tough watching my. I remember when it was at 237, like I literally, it was literally the top, and watching it go from 237 to like 150 within like 24 hours is 37 percent down, guys. That is max pain. Now, luckily, since this is a good coin. It's, Good, very good coin, good fundamentals, and it had a lot of big names who have the coin. It pumped right back up 27%, you know, so, yeah, 27%. So, um, that's, this is crypto, guys. Like, you got, it's very volatile, and y'all willing, guys, we all make it, man. Like I said, I got, I got children, I got family, and uh, one thing about me, I love helping people, man. I love helping people. 
I know some people can't be a help. Like I said, guys, some, especially black people, especially black people, man, they're cursed, bro. And this is what the most high has been showing me. Not all of them, not all of them, of course. Some people are blessed. Some people are fruitful. Some people keeping God's commandments. Some people have love in their heart, um, et cetera, et cetera. But for the most part, guys, a lot of black people, they curse, bro. You can't tell them nothing, man. They're stuck in their own ways. And, you know, some people got to learn the hard way, man. Just like, it reminds me of Moses, right? You know, Moses tried to free the people. They didn't want to be freed. You know, not to say Moses was a perfect man, but, you know, we all have our own issues and our own sins that we battle with, you know. So nothing, nothing to be over-righteous about. But at the end of the day, he wanted to free the people, but he knew that they were stiff-necked. And we're seeing that today, man. A bunch of stiff-necked people, bro. I was looking at it in September when it was 20K. Yeah, Bitcoin was uh, Bitcoin was 20K. I remember, I remember watching Bitcoin go to 15K, bro, but I didn't buy, man. I didn't buy, man. Because I was listening to the fear. Everyone's saying, Bitcoin's going to zero. It's going to 12K, 10K. I was listening to the fear. That's why I said, guys, come up with your own strategy. If I were to, if I were to go back in time, now it already happened, whatever, right? But let's say if I could go back in time, what I would have done differently, I would have DCA'd in. So if Bitcoin is like 15K, I wouldn't go all in because obviously it could, go down, it could go down less. But what I would do is I would slowly put in money in. Like they call it DCA, dollar cost average in. So you could pretty much put in $100 a day or $1,000 a day, $10 a day from 15k to 20k cuz you know I think bitcoin is up like I think let's see personally guys in, in my honest opinion buying bitcoin now is too late like the most the most you can make from here is probably like a 2x you know but you shouldn't be in crypto for a 2x I mean maybe a 3x I doubt it though I think the most you'll make from here is like is like a 2x and there's just better opportunities with altcoins, but altcoins is very volatile. You know, altcoins go down a lot more than uh, than Bitcoin does here. Let me uh, show you all this real quick. So uh, Bitcoin was 15 point. I remember it was 15.5K. I, I saw it too. I opened up the market at 15.5. Now it is jumped. It shows up 333%. And uh, from the top, it's up 337%. So I think Bitcoin could easily go to 100K. I think it's going to go to 100K, which is a 557%. Uh, it could easily go to like 110, 110, 120. But this is like when Bitcoin is like past 100K, like I would be, I would start scaling out of the market. Like I said, you don't want to be greedy. Okay. You do not want to be greedy. Now, like I said, there is a chance that Bitcoin does, you know, 100, let's say it goes 100K, right? And it goes up to like 130, 120. But it's just too much of a risk because when Bitcoin tops, it's going to go down to, it's going to go down to like 50. I mean, Bitcoin usually goes down about 70 to 80 percent from the top. So we could easily see, you know, 20, 20 to 30K again, guys, because you could easily see that. And that, that's that's without FUD. That's without, you know, crypto exchanges, um, you know, because back then you had FTX. You had a whole bunch of exchanges, you know, going down, a bunch of scams, Ponzi schemes getting exposed, all that, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah. Bitcoin to easily easy go down. I, I, I'd say maybe by the end of next year, or not, probably by 2026, you'll see Bitcoin 30K. And everybody's going to be saying it's a scam. When everybody's saying it's a scam and it's not worth buying, that's when you buy. When everyone's saying it's going to zero, buy, 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 man. I listened to the fear and I suffered, you know. So I, I learned. And crypto is all a learning experience, not just crypto. Investing, being an investor, it's all a learning experience, learning from your wrongdoings. And you know, like I said, guys, back when I turned 20k to 100k didn't take any profits out so now my my what i do now when i, when I 5x or even maybe if you want to play a safety even a 4x take out your initial investment you know always want to be taking out profits because at the end of the day if you're not taking out profits you're not making any money you know it's just it's just paper you know uh pick candles you need candles chart next to time frame oh, okay all right give me one second next to time frame next to time time frame time frame Oh, okay. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. This is this is this is off. Give me one second. He said candles. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. There you go. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Dang, how did I not know this? Okay, so yeah, there you go. Yes, thank you, bro. Who said that? Uh, D Demeter Beats. Appreciate you, man. <clears throat> 
Uh, Noah says, Shalom, Ark, not coming from religious spirit, but would you consider crypto not working because it is sh Shabbat and I'm e-commerce business owner and I always stop all work Friday to sundown. So what I do too, I don't, I don't really buy or sell also on, on Saturdays either. <clears throat> now it's, I don't consider it working because you're literally just trading on a, on a marketplace. But, uh, what God has convicted me of on the Sabbath day, you don't want to be like on your chart or staying up all night on, on the, uh, Friday sundown or sorry. Uh, yeah, Friday sundown. That's what I was, I would be doing. I'd be up to like five, six in the morning, just looking at the chart trading. I, I stopped doing that. Uh, now personally, I'm not going to condemn somebody for doing that. At the end of the day, you do what you do. Uh, but I, I don't see how it's a sin to, to sell or buy on a crypto exchange. Like, so the reason why the Bible says you're not supposed to buy or sell, because let's say if you go to a store, right, you go to a grocery store or whatever, when you go buy something, you're causing someone else to work, even though the Bible says we're not supposed to work, but a crypto exchange, no one is working. It's all just an exchange. So I don't see how it's wrong for, um, I never got convicted on the Sabbath day when it comes to <clears throat> crypto and buying and selling. But what I did get, <clears throat> excuse me, what I did get convicted from is, um, you know, being up at five, six in the morning, looking at the crypto chart, like we should be resting on that day, you know? So yeah, hopefully that answered your question. Uh, what's up, Ivan from Russia? Oh, that's what's up, that's what's up, from Russia. Yo, Ivan, from, you're from Russia, right? What did you hear about Putin? Is, is it at the talk of the streets over there in Russia where Putin says uh, uh, he, he announced that Christ is black and the disciples? L let me know, bro. Is that, the talk of, is that the talk of the streets out there in, uh, in Russia, man? <laughs> I, need to get, uh, <clears throat> I need to get a stand. I need to get a stand for, uh, hold up. Oh, I can just do that. Perfect. I need to stand for my uh, my camera over here at the office that I got. Uh, they prefer being slaves in Egypt, bro. Yeah, because they were stubborn. They were they were they were stubborn. They, they were rebellious. Yep, that's true. Fili uh, Felipe. Yep. Uh, any good altcoin picks? So okay, so Arrow I gave you guys Arrow, right? And also, Darius recommended me this coin. I actually bought in around like a dollar. I made a video on it like two weeks ago. It was called, it's called PropyCoin. And it's a real estate uh, asset. And um, as you can see on a month, it's up 400%, which is insane. Okay, it's up 400%, guys. Wow. So the reason why it's up so much, for those who don't know, BlackRock... Um, they were talking about, you know, tokenizing real world assets. They were also talking about uh, how they invested into, you know, cryptos that are, you know, real world assets. So that's whatever since that happened, all these real world asset crypto coins have started scam pumping. And uh, so, yeah, shout out to Darius. He put me onto this coin. I made a video about it, too. It was about like a dollar forty or something like that. Um, candles. There you go. So let's see how this one is. Let me put it four hours. I like to always look at my charts at four hours. All right, so. All right, so was that got 138? 138, where is it at? 138, yeah, 138. And from now, it's up 157%. I mean, guys, when this is also a strong coin too, because look at it. When everything crashed today, it went down twenty six percent. But also keep in mind, the pump it just got aimed back up, and now it's back to where it was, you know, before the dip. Now, of course, back to where it was, it was around like, it was around like almost four dollars. But still, right here is still a good price, a good entry. Um, you know, if you do want to buy this coin, Proppy coin, maybe wait, maybe wait for it to ho hopefully it retests around like three dollars and twenty cents. Now, they, it may never get that price again, you know? So that's why I always tell people to DCAN. Because if you think about it, right, it's three, uh, 357, 357 right now. If it goes down to, it goes down to like 320, that's a 10% down. But chances are you may never, you might not get it down there again and it just keeps going up. But personally, I think, I think it may, I don't like this color. I think it may uh, go back up to that price. I think, I think, I think it may. Um, go down to like right here around like three dollars um which is uh which, how much is it down here yeah like around like right here like if it goes down to this price guys i'm gonna load up more like right here if it goes down to like three dollars five cents i'll buy more which is gonna be about 
22% from the top. Uh, last night, it sucked, too, because I actually, I actually had bought some more. I already have a big position. I only bought, like, a small amount. I bought a small amount, like, right here, 8, 387, so it's down 8% right now. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to hold on to it long term. I think this coin could easily turn. I think it's, like, a 300, mar 300 mil market cap. It could easily go to, like, $15, which is about a 5X from here. 15, it could go more. It could go, man, this coin, could, sky's the limit for this coin. Like I said, BlackRock is back in this coin. So this, and it's on Coinbase too. Uh, coins that are on Coinbase, they usually pump the hardest, you know. Um, but yeah, this could easily just go $15, 10 man. So I'm holding this one, and uh, I'm really confident on this one too as well. Uh, like worst comes to worst. Let's say if it does dip from the, from the top, like, 50%. I'm still, I'll still be up in profit. And like, we're in the bull market. So I don't think that it's going to go to like, you know, remember, because when the bear market starts, guys, coins go down 90%. All coins go down 90 to 95%, which is why it's so important to be taking your money out. If you're up, always take your money out. So the, the, for the brother who asked, well, all coins is proppy pro, pro on Coinbase. I'm not sure if it's on Binance. I'm not sure. I only use Coinbase. Back in the days, I would use Binance, but the thing is, Binance is banned in the U.S. And the U.S. Binance Exchange, I don't really like it. They don't have much coins on there. So, so PropyCoin Pro on Coinbase. Uh, Arrow, I like Arrow a lot too, like you guys should know. Um, let's see what other coins that are, I like too. I don't even know. Wait, hold up, guys. My wife just texted me right now. So... Give me one second. Hold up. All right. Um, um, oh, yeah. I was supposed to do this. So let's see what other coins that I like. So Proppy, I gave you all that. Arrow. Oh, GFI. Okay, I'll go over GFI right now. Yeah, I'll go over GFI. Um, anything else? Yeah, let's go over GFR. So now this one is a little bit more risky. So I want to go all in on this. I do have a, a, a decent size amount on this. I'm actually down on this coin. Um, let me, uh, why does it automatically not change to candles? I think I got to like change the settings or something here. Let me, or, I don't know, whatever. All right. So yeah, hey, how it goes to four, three minutes. All right, so I'm, I'm going to read the chat in a little bit, guys. I'm going to show you guys about this coin, G, GFI. So GFI, I heard about GFI. I actually tweeted about it when it was $2.50. And I don't think I bought then. I was like, oh, I was just saying this coin looks like a good buy. Of course, I should have tr trusted my intuition. Well, technically, it's only at 56% from then, which is not really that good. compared. But from the top, it is 136%. Um, but I did buy a big amount like around like 420 like four yeah around like 420 which is i'm only down five percent it was really bad i was on 20 22 percent is not that bad but from the top from the top it is down let's see it is down 47 percent. so I, guys when coins are down that much there the chance of it going down more in a bull market is, is very slim uh, it's, it's very slim. So like I said, I, I bought in at 420. Uh, I know people are gonna laugh 420, blah, blah, go ahead, laugh, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, I'm just holding it patient. I can see this coin. So let, let's see how it pumped up last time. Right. So went from the bottom was at 150, then it went up 215% and then 250% or 215%. Sorry. Then it went down about 20, 28%. I think it went down again down here. It went down 37%. So you can see the more it goes down, the more sell, the more people sell, the, the which which helps it out for the next pump. So I think the next pump of this could easily go $7. You know, maybe it might accumulate for a little bit more. And uh, now guys, when it goes to $7, I'm going to sell. This is not a coin I'm going to be holding long term. I might keep like if I sell, I might keep like 10% just for like a moon bag cuz it's all profit anyways. But yeah, once it's like at once I get around a seven dollars, I'm I'll sell my whole bag. So I'm letting you guys know now. Arrow, like I told you guys, my strategy. I bought Arrow. My average buy-in is at seventy-seven cents. 
So once Arrow is at, let's do the math. I don't I even, I haven't even did the math for this yet. So once Arrow is at three dollars and eighty five cents, around three, right? Yeah, around like late three is four dollars. I'm gonna take, I'll take out my initial investment, and I hope you guys take out your initial initial investment too. If it goes up to four dollars, from let's say if you bought it at a dollar or seventy five cents. Not, not saying you need to sell everything, not saying to sell everything, but take out some profits out. Okay, treat yourself out. Go travel. Go get you a nice meal. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Or go pay your debt, whatever the case is. Okay, because remember, it's not profit and take, until you take your money out. Okay, because at the end of the day, it's just on your portfolio on, on your on your phone. But you gotta take be taking profits. Uh, what do you think will happen right after, right before, then after Bitcoin having? Based on your previous experiences during the having, so my experience during the having before the having, the cri the prices kind of went down, but after the having, that's when Bitcoin started to pump, like a week or two after the having, um, or even on the same day. The last cycle back in 2020, the same day of the having, or the same week of the having, it pumped up like 30 percent, but it also went down. I think it went down like 20 percent following. Um, that's that's based, you know, because it's hype. When everyone, when, when people hear the Bitcoin having, all everybody is talking about it. Everybody's FOMO and everybody's shilling it. Your mainstream media news, the big influencers, the big financial investors are all talking about it. So everybody jumps in. You know, everybody wants a piece of the pie. And then there's a mass sell-off once Bitcoin. I'm assuming here. Let me, let me show you guys a chart on Bitcoin. I'm assuming Bitcoin goes down. Um. Okay, let me see this. So there's two scenarios for Bitcoin. Yeah, let me let me guys, let me give you guys my scenario on Bitcoin. So these are the two things I could see that could happen. So I could see it just go from for where it's at now. I could see it probably going down to like uh, maybe 62k, 62k, and then pump up to 80k, or I could see it going from like. The bottom, which is right here, is put because let's put it right here. That's 65k, and it going up to like new all-time highs, and then drop down like right here, the resistance, and it pumping up from here to there. So that's the worst case scenario. So worst case scenario, it goes down to about 62k. It could even go down here. It could even go down to like. I mean, worst comes to worst, like 61K, 60K. It could revisit 60K again. I don't see it going down more than that. But it could go to a worst case scenario. It could go down 60%, uh, 60K. Man, if Bitcoin goes down 60K, alts are going to go down bad, big time, man. So you just have to hold diamond hands, man. You got to hold diamond hands. And once it hits 60K, I can see it pumping up to 80K. I can see it pumping up to, or I can see it pumping up to 100K. I, I believe that will be the bottom. That will be the next local bottom for the next, for a good minute. Or I could see it from the bottom from right here, which was at 65K. Yeah, 65K. I think it was like 64.8 uh, with the wick. And then it just goes up to a new all-time highs, goes down a little bit, retrace. It'll probably go down a little bit more to shake out the weak hands and then just pump up from there. So that that's my that's my theory on Bitcoin. Um, I think because, I, I, like I, said, I was talking about in the beginning of this video, it's tax season. You know, even myself, I had to take out some profits, guys, to pay to pay taxes. Uh, I think tax season ends April 15th. So we got two more days, right? Yeah. So by Monday, that'll be the last day. And then hopefully by the 16th and 17th, the prices go up. Stocks are even getting hit big time, too, as well. Um, understood, brother. I am very new to the faith. And yeah, it literally saved me last second. Your videos were some of the first things you yeah, put in front of me to start revealing the truth. So I want to say thank you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, uh, Noah. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate the love, bro. Um, Putin simply showed an icon of Jesus Christ in Russia. The main religion is or Orthodox, where people pray to icons. This video is like 2022. Oh, wow. So that's an old video. So why is that resurfacing now? Everybody, what, really? Let, let me look this up. Why is that resurfacing now? Because everyone made it seem like it was like a new video and all that. That's That's interesting. Everybody made it seem like it was a new video.
Yeah, everyone, everybody made it seem like it was a new video. Whatever. I mean, hey, the truth is getting out. I'm not complaining. <laughs> the truth is getting out, so I ain't complaining. But it just I find that interesting that everybody was making it seem like that was like a whole new video. Uh, Dennis said, say, I got you, bro. All right, let me show you say. All right, so remember, I, I told you guys I was out of say. I told people I'm, I'm out of say. Um, I recommended, I, I told people about say when it was at 60 cents, and I told people I'm out of say at 84 cents. Um, it did go up to a dollar and 15 cents. The reason why I don't like this coin, guys, because there's too many investors in this coin that bought in when it was under a penny, and they're selling every single day. They're selling every single day. Um, I don't like to buy coins no more that over if it has over 700 mil market cap I don't like to buy those coins personally if it's more than 500 mil market cap I wouldn't want to buy it just giving you guys my, the honest truth now of course there are some coins that are, are perfect entries at 500 mil market cap coins and that's perfectly fine if you have conviction on a coin I say go for it but uh, coins like say coins like INJ coins like SUI like TIA, TIA, those coins were good. It was a good trade. I announced and I told you, I told people I, I sold all those coins before it crashed. And I'm gonna show you guys all this now. I'm actually glad you said say. So, in my opinion, in my opinion on say, now I wouldn't buy say no more, but in my opinion, it, it went down to 50 cents. This is actually a good buy in because think about it. It's already down from the top. It was at one, I think it was like 115 cents, right? Uh, so one one forty yeah Denver one fifteen so it was down it's down fifty six percent it's down fifty six percent so I think a good time to buy say is right now now I'm not buying it let me make this very clear I'm not buying say I don't recommend say I don't even recommend it bro because like I said it's at one point four billion market cap it's just too high so think about it in order for you to two x in order for say to go to a dollar and ten cents again it would have to have double the market cap so that means that it would have to have Another $1.4 billion that, have, that people have to invest into it, which is why I just, if you go to Arrow, right? Arrow is at, I think it's at 300 mil market cap. So for, in order to 2X an Arrow, it only needs 300 mil mar, uh, money coming in. So it's, it's just, you make more money on low market cap coins, especially the coin, Coinbase coins, specifically Coinbase coins. Um, but if you still want to buy, say, you know, oops, if you still want to buy, say, I think now is a good time to buy. Honestly, uh, it was a good time to buy when it was fifty. It was fifty cents. You know, ho you know, hopefully, you know, for the guy who asked for same, you know, hopefully, if it goes to fifty cents again, which is down, which I'll be, it would have to go down nine percent. I say you should, you should hop on and put your buy orders on at fifty cents. Personally, like I said, I don't like to buy coins that have over um, five hundred more market cap. Unless, unless I bought the coin it was at two hundred more market cap or less, and it's like at seven hundred more market cap, then it's cool because I got in early. But I, I just feel like in this cycle, people don't have money like that no more, guys. You know, we're, we're, in, we're in like a, a hyperinflation recession where money is, you know, a lot of people aren't making the money like they used to. They, we don't have the stimulus checks like we did in the last cycle. So, uh, but personally, I do believe, say, at the peak of this bull market, it will, it will hit two, three dollars. I think, I think, say, will at least hit two dollars, which is only like a what, a three X from here or, you know. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, it's like only like a three. Maybe it goes two fifty three dollars, but I wouldn't bet on it. You know, um, I would have been on. So Sophia says Jesus skin would have been more olive colored. Okay, so 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 Sophie, you know an olive color is green. Who do you know on this earth that is a green color? Who do you know that? has green skin i don't like to i don't i don't want i want to make this about a crypto i don't want to talk about like religious stuff on this on this channel or at least at least for this video but sophie if you're still here who do you know on this earth had olive skin color remember an olive and the, in, the inside is black but on the outside an olive is green okay it's like light green who on this earth is light light green like do people like what's 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 like people just don't want to admit that christ is black they, they don't want to believe it they don't want to believe it, guys. And like I said, I don't, I don't want to even talk about this. The only reason why I brought it up because the brother said he's from Russia. You know? Um, he says, I do believe that Jesus is black. That's what's up. Uh, Heroes of Mafia looks like a goodbye. Heroes of Mafia. Hey, Unleashed Your Prime. What, what What's that ticker? Is it H-O-M? Uh, 
Yeah, she was definitely black money. Yeah. Uh, Jesus coin. You want me to look at Jesus coin, guys? I would stay away from Jesus coin. Um, the reason why I would stay away from Jesus coin is because ETH, ETH is ETH is dead, guys. Uh, when it comes to meme coins, no one wants to pay thirty dollars for to buy and then thirty dollars to sell. You know, they have uh, so, so Solana. Those meme coins are good to buy because if you buy a meme coin in there, it's like literally like two two cents, and it's it's super fast. Now Solana has this flaw, just like every other exchange does. But also base, if they if they if they release Jesus coin on base, because base has little to no fees either, just similar to Solana. That's why Arrow is gonna pump because Arrow is backed by base, you know. Um, but when it comes to um, the Jesus coin, the only hope for Jesus coin guys on crypto is if it if it gets listed on base on Ethereum guys, it already peaked. Okay, uh, I know the founder wants to tell you otherwise. Of course he wants to tell you otherwise because he's holding the bag, you know. He wants he wants his coin to pump, and I know I would be saying the same thing if I was him too. But personally, I'll let you guys know the truth. I would not be buying Jesus coin. I just personally, I personally wouldn't buy. Back then, it was good to buy because it was hype. There was narrative. It pumped up three x or four x. If you got in early, I believe it did a hundred x. But I didn't get in early. I got in Jesus coin. It was like a. Uh, it was like a, in the twenties and they're in the thirties. I think it's down like in the under tens now. So that's like down like seventy percent. So yeah. Um, someone says, is it okay to trade because the opposite, opposite person is losing money? What do you mean, uh, Sh Shelly D? I'm confused by that. Uh, Sigma said, yeah, olive is green. Yeah. Where did, where did, um, Sophie go? I really wanted her to know, like, who do you know on earth is, is a olive green skin color? Like people are, they sound foolish when they say this stuff like that. They sound very foolish. Uh, what do you think Arrow will be in a month from now? Well, hey, man, if I knew, if I was able to predict, predict that, I would be rich, guys. <laughs> I would be, a, I'd be, I'd be a billionaire, you know, if I was able to predict the, the exact amount. But if I were to guess, bullish case scenario, Arrow could easily be $4 by next month, by, the, by May. Worst case scenario, Arrow is probably the same price as it is today, um, which is maybe like $150 to $2, you know, either $150 to $2 or by the end of next month, it could easily go to four dollars. And like I said, guys, once Arrow is at four dollars, I'm taking out my initial investment. I'm not selling everything. I'm just selling out. I'm, I'm, I'm just taking out my initial investment. Um, it's always good to t be taking out profits. And um, yeah, I bet Jesus was black. Everyone's dark in the region. Yeah. Um, what else already there? But so yeah, any any other coins? Oh, yeah, so say to the guy who asked, I think fifty five cents is a good buy in. Personally. A good buying would would have because it was at fifty two cents for a, for a good minute. I remember I was looking at the chart for a couple hours. That would have been a better buy. Maybe wait for it to go down. But you could, the best case scenario best case scenario would be the DCA. And personally, I don't own any more say, and I'm never gonna buy say again. That's just uh, just giving me my honest opinion. So um, any other coins that you guys would recommend? Remember, I, I'm I'm on guys. I'm all in on Arrow. I'm all in on Arrow. I'm at, I guys. I have GFI. I have Pro Coin. I have um, I have a few other coins, but my main bag is all on Arrow. So that's all I'm focusing on. I feel like guys having like ten coins, twenty coins, unless you have like unless you're like a multimillionaire where you could have when you have a big capital, you could do that. But personally, for me, you just need like three coins, one coin that you're all in, and two other coins just in case those get a moon bag. Your strong conviction coins, your strong picks. And you have to have diamond hands because nothing just goes up in a straight line. Like, look at this, for instance. Look at Say. Let's look at, let's look at Say real quick. So, Say damn near went up in a straight line from here. You know, so let's see how fast that it went up. So, from, from December 19th to January 4th, this is like two weeks, right? So, in two weeks, it pumped up 286%. But... Look what happened right after that. After it went up that much, it went down. It went down thirty six percent, which isn't that bad because it, you know, once the case, once again, it, it just pumped right back up. But let's just say if you hold it on to here, you know, or let's uh, see if you bought it right here, you would have been up uh, almost four hundred percent. Or actually, it is four hundred percent. Yeah, four hundred percent, and then you know, you would have probably lost almost half of those gains this, this is why you gotta take profits man you lost half of those more than half of those gains you know 
Uh, thoughts on base meme coins like Normie and Dog and Me? I have a base meme coin, Benji. Uh, let, me, let me type it in. That's the only meme coin I have on base, Benji. I typed it in for you guys. Um, now, it's a meme coin, so I'm not going to even chart that because you, you can't chart. Meme coins all ran on narratives and hype. Um, that, but that's what I believe Benji will be, uh, will be a big one. I'm actually hoping it goes down more because I'm going to, I'll buy more. If it goes down to like three cents, two cents, I'm definitely going to be buying more. Hopefully, let's actually look at it. I hope it goes down to like two cents again. I actually bought in at two cents and, uh, let's see if it's on, on here. Uh, is it this one? No, it's not this one. I don't even know if it's on here, man, to be honest. Benji. Maybe this? Nah, yeah, I don't even know if it's listed on TradingView, to be honest. Oh, I can go to Dex Tools. Yeah, I can go to Dex Tools. Hold up. All right, Benji. So Benji is 4.5 cents. I bought Benji. Some girl gave me this. She was like, oh, Mark, buy, buy this coin. And I did my research on it. I was like, okay, yeah, I like this coin. It was like at two cents. And um, so let's see. I think I'm like double, I doubled up. But, you know, it's a meme coin, so I don't really put much money in meme coins. Because, like I said, meme coins, most, 99% of meme coins go to zero, up 156%. From the top, it was up. Uh, from the top, it was up. Dang, 278%. Yeah, meme coins, they, they, they pump, man. So Benji is at a 45 mil market cap. If it could go down back to like 25, which probably won't happen, to be honest. Uh, but if it go back to like 25, even 30, I'll, I'll probably buy a bigger bag. But um, I could see this being billion, billions. If base really takes off, I could see, oh, oh, I typed it in wrong. My fault. Yeah, I typed it in wrong. Base chin, my fault. Here, let me retype that in for those who watch on the playback. Benji, or base, base in, yeah, like that. Yep. My fault. Oh, is it wrong again? Ben, wait, Ben, wait, no, base, type it in wrong again. What the heck? B A S N N J A. There you go. Uh, Mark, I wanted to get into trading, but some say it's not good because it involves when one person gains profit, the other loses. Well, Shelby, that's that's life. Uh, Sh Sh Sheldy, I don't know if you're a girl guy, but that's life. Uh, just like when it comes to real estate, a lot of people in inherit houses, right, from their parents or grandparents, and they sell it for cheap because they want to get a new car. Uh, th that's life. That's that's a reality, man. When someone's losing money, it's the same thing with the stock market. When someone's losing money, someone's making money. That's life. There's times where I lost money on a coin, and then a couple weeks later, that coin pumped up. So I lost money and someone else gained money. That's the game of life. That's the game of life. So um, personally, I don't like trading. I'm more of a long-term investor. I'm more like holding the coin and at least riding it out for at least a 5, 10x. You know, I don't like, I don't know. I, sometimes I trade, you know, when I'm bored. It's, it's all just a dopamine rush. Like I might trade like little bits amount, like literally like less than 1% of my portfolio. Maybe like 0.05% just because I'm bored. You know, I make like make like a hundred dollars, you know, a hundred two dollars, whatever, right? Um, but that's about it, you know, when I'm bored or something like that. But yeah, that's about it, man. Uh, but yeah, that's life though. That's life, uh, Sheldy. That's life. Uh, someone says, What do you think? Timothy said, What do you think of Suku? My one of my homeboys told me about Suku. So I have one of that girl who told me about base gen, she told me about Suku too. Um, I remember I told her that I was like, oh, this coin is going to pump. I didn't buy any. And it went to 15 cents to 27 cents. So that's like damn near like right here. I remember I told her this like right around here. Let me actually let me make sure you all can see it. There you go. All right. So I remember I told her on crypto too, you want to make connections. You want um, crypto Twitter. You want to have friends, uh, whether you know them or not. Or if you know them in like on the internet or something like that, like they give you the coins to buy. She she told me about Arrow. She put me on so much, bro. She put me on a lot. But she told me about this coin it was at six cents, and it pumped up. As you can see, it went down again. I actually bought this coin at the top. I bought it like at fifteen cents, but I sold it at sixteen cents. So look at it, it went down like big time. It went down like 40 percent. But it pumped up too. And I remember I was DMing her too. I was like, oh, this coin is gonna pump up again. 
And look at this. It went up 100. I should have bought some. At least I should have put like a, like a small amount in. It's all good, though, because um, Asuki, I wouldn't buy now. So Asuki is down, is down 43%. It's currently down 35%. Personally, guys, I would I would wait for 16 17 cents would be good too. 16, 17 cents. I'm not buying at 20 cents. I'm not that's too high. That's too high. Because if you want a 2x from there, that that would make it 40 cents. But if you buy at like 16, 17 cents, which it will come, let's just say 17 cents or 16 cents. The 2x from there is only 32%, which is definitely it was more which is just a better entry. And I feel like Wells. Smart money is not buying now. Smart money is waiting for it to go down because it just pumped up. When something pumps up that much, it's definitely going to go down, especially a coin like this with this low market cap. So uh, Waka, Waka coin, I never heard of that. Is that like a meme coin? I'm not going to chart meme coins. Because like I said, meme coins are just high volatile and, and all that. Shalom fan, I want to invest. I just don't know how to start on it to get financially better. Could you give me some advice? Uh, brother uh, Xavier, download Coinbase and uh, check out Arrow. Check out Arrow. I would say put in like just put in fifty dollars, ten dollars in, in Arrow coin. Download Coinbase is free to do that. Now a lot of people they are like, oh Mark, I don't want to download Coinbase because it asks for my ID and it asks for all your information. The reason why Coinbase does that is because for taxes, they they have to do that to abide by the guidelines. You know, if they're not, if they, if they can't get your I, your ID and your information. You know, they could get in trouble. Coinbase could get in trouble by the IRS because all the profits you make, you have to report on your taxes. So if they don't have your ID, you know, they, you know how it is, guys. Caesar wants what belongs to him. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Um, uh, Prince MJ Minecraft said, hey, Mark, will you and Darius still make a Discord server for crypto? So we don't have a base Discord server, but we do have a, a Discord for crypto here. Let me let me share this for you guys. Give me one second. We, we don't have a, like a dedicated Discord, um, we don't have a dedicated Discord, 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 sorry, server for crypto, but we do have a Discord group and we do have a crypto section, which is at the top. So here, let me, let me uh, share this with you guys. Give me one second. All right, I'm gonna post it on the in the group chat, or in the group chat. I'm gonna post it on the on the chat. Uh, Mark is Webull good too? I don't use Webull. I think that's like a crypto stock type of thing. I don't use Webull, but I I think it's I mean Webull has been out for I've been, I've been hearing that since for years, so I think they're they're okay. If they've been out for that long. They're good. But that that's my I don't know if you guys could click the link though. Maybe you have to go on my main channel to do, to click on to uh or at the actual channel that I'm on to uh. So you guys get the link. If it doesn't work on the on the live chat, guys, I'll just post on my uh, uh, community section. Oops. Yeah, there you go. All right, perfect. I'm gonna pin it too. Let's see if I can pin it. Yeah, pin it. So, all right, for those who want to join the Discord server for crypto, I pinned it in the comment section. Uh, let me see if I can pin it. Oh, I only get does a live chat for now. But what I think about XRP, do not buy XRP, bro. Let me show you how bad of a coin export XRP is, okay? Do not buy XRP, bro. This is, this is the most depressing coin ever. So let's go to the year to date. Let's go to 12 months. Uh, actually, that's a little bit too much. Let's go to mm, six months. <sighs> Uh, I'll be honest, so I gotta I gotta start heading back home. Uh, I gotta oh I gotta go back home to oh dang it. All right, uh, am I gonna be here tomorrow? No, I'm not. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you, let me show you how depressing this coin is. Dang, it went down. Dang, it went down that low. All right. So if you would have bought, let me just do this. If you would have bought XRP a year ago today. Right. Let's see how much you would make. So we're in April 10th, right? Or oh, 13th. <laughs> I'm out of the loop, man. All right. So if you would have bought Arrow, or sorry, if you would have bought XRP a year ago, you'd be up 5%. That's 
That means you would have made more money on stock. You would have made more money buying any stock, damn near any stock, 90% of the stocks. You would have made more money buying Bitcoin. This is depressing, bro. Look how every time this coin pumps, okay, it pumps and it dumps right after. It pumps, dumps right after. Stay away from XRP. If you guys want to make money, stay away from XRP. There's a reason why you see nothing but influencers shilling this coin. Influencers don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're talking about. So stay away from XRP. Um, yeah, how do you know? How do you decide if a coin has potential? Like, do you look at the narrative, community, utility, and other things? Thanks, bro. Yeah, utility, community, narrative. Uh, like, the reason why I went with Arrow is because it's backed by base, and meme coins are like going crazy this cycle. So, you know, base is where all the meme coins are going to be listed. And on top of that, it's, it's, it's owned by Coinbase. Or that's not owned by Coinbase, but Coinbase invested it. Coinbase dropped 100 million on Arrow, guys. They invested nine figures on Arrow. Remember what, what I told you guys, copy what the rich people are doing financially. Okay, so if they're all in on Arrow, Coinbase, Coinbase is super bullish, man. That's the, one of the biggest crypto exchanges in America. Or it is. It is the biggest. Uh, uh, Binance is the biggest worldwide. But in America, it's, it's Coinbase. So uh, that's why I went, I went all in on Arrow because it's backed by base. Base is a huge narrative going into the cycle. A lot of big influencers are backing base too or shilling base too. Uh, for those who don't know what shilling means, it means recommending it and you know posting about it and all that. But um, yeah, so I definitely, that, that's, that's what I go into. Also, like I said to you, Benjamin, I don't buy coins that have over 500 million market cap. Arrow market cap is at $300 million. So it's still early to, to get into Arrow. It's only 300 mil market cap on Arrow. Here, let me make a thumbnail real quick. Um, how do I do? Oh, yeah. So let's like this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I just made a thumbnail. Get, hold up. This is my, my fourth channel. And I don't really be, you know, I, I just be having fun on this one. Here, let me uh, update this thumbnail for y'all real quick. Aerodrome. Uh, for the algorithm too, I'll probably put arrow in the title. Um, how do I uh, do this on this? Do I not have the key on this keyboard? Heck no, nah, man. There's no way there's no keyboard on this title. Oh, wait. Nope, I guess I don't have it on this keyboard. Wow, unbelievable. Nah, there's no way I don't have it on this keyboard. I guess I don't. Wow, okay. Okay, no problem. Yeah. But yeah, I'm yawning, guys. I gotta go. I gotta head back home, man. Um, I gotta go to my mom's house real quick. I left my pillow over there. So, um, here, let me, uh, there, uh, oh, no, I spelled it wrong. But yeah, if you guys made it this far, you know, y'all know what to do. Like the video, all that good stuff. Much appreciated. It's free to like the video. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, uh, any other questions you guys have? Shalom, bro. Are you in any into any gaming projects? Uh, DRE, I was into IMX. That was the only gaming coin that I had. I actually mm -hmm. sold it. I bought uh, I bought IMX at 120 and I sold it for 250 or 250, 260. Let me see how much that, right, let's see how much that is now. Let's see how much it is now. Oh, dang, it went down big time, bro. Sheesh. Oh, my goodness. So. Let's see how much is down from the top. From the top, it's down. 
Yeah, it's down 49%. There, the guys, it was a bloodbath on crypto uh, last night or yesterday. It was a total bloodbath, man. Uh, but personally, I'm not really bullish on, on gaming coins. I know a lot of people are hyping up the narrative. Uh, I'm just not bullish on gaming coins, to be honest. Now, not, not to say that, because I heard that Prime is a gaming coin. Prime is doing really well. But personally, for me, I'm not just I'm not bullish on gaming coins. Um, yeah, ILV. Oh, I heard ILV. Yeah, I heard Galilee. Yeah, those are good. I heard those are good coins. Uh, still DCA into research coin. Um, how much is research coin now? I think that's still a good. I think that's still a good coin to buy. I think it, it went up to a dollar. I believe it. It actually just pumped up to a dollar. Let's see how much. Uh, it's at sixty-one cents now. I think, oh, yeah, I went up to, oh, no, I went up to 90, 95 cents, yeah. The reason why I was pumping up too, guys, I pumped up, you know, 61%, or I think it pumped like 80%, is because uh, they announced that they were going to be listing it on base. So remember, narrative, narrative is what pumps up the coins. It's hype, hype, narrative. Because of that, it pumped up 60%, 61%. I think if you could get this coin for like 50, in the 50 cents range, it's, it's a good buy. Um now I'm waiting for research coin to be listed on Coinbase. Once it's listed on Coinbase, I'll ape in. The reason why it's not pumping up as much as I thought it would be, because I thought that because the owner of this coin, he is he's the owner or founder of Coinbase. You would think that he would list his own coin on his exchange, but I don't know what's taking them so long. Uh, but once they announce that they're listing this on the exchange on on Coinbase, I'll I'll draw I'll go all in. You know, uh, and I wouldn't sell any of my arrow, but with anything, I'll probably take some profit out just to buy research coin because it's only at a sixty. I think it's like at a 50 mil market cap or 60 mil, which is super cheap, which is super low. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this. I got to go home. I'm tired, man. It's 2 in the morning. And uh, it was a pleasure building with you guys. I know I told you guys I was going to make this a crypto gaming channel. Um, I, might buy, I, might, I might buy a computer over here because the computer I'm using right now is a MacBook. And a MacBook is more for streaming and like work and stuff like that. When it comes to gaming, y'all know game, gaming on a MacBook kind of sucks. So, oh no, it does suck. There's no, there's no really games you can run on it. So I might buy another computer to, not just for gaming, but you know, it's always good to have a computer. But the MacBook, I mean, the MacBook does everything I need. So do I really need a computer? And uh, so, yeah, I don't even know about all that. But I do have a PS5 right here. I just need to get the capture card and all that, and uh, I could probably stream some Madden for you guys again. So, yeah, let me know if you, what you guys want to see on this channel. More just random content. I upload random stuff on here. Uh, this channel is not monetized, so, you know, I don't have to worry about, you know, all that extra stuff. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that's all. No one's really saying much. So, yeah, all right, guys. Love you guys so much. Y'all know what to do. Peace.